The Democratic Republic of the Congo national football team, formerly known as Zaire, alternatively known as Congo Kinshasa, is the national team of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and is controlled by the Fédération Congolaise de Football Association (FECOFA). They are nicknamed the Leopards. DR Congo have been ranked as high as 28 in the FIFA rankings. As Zaire, they were the first sub-Saharan African team to qualify for the FIFA World Cup and twice won the Africa Cup of Nations. History <inaudible> Early history The Fédération Congolaise de Football Association was founded in 1919 when the country was not independent. The team played their first game in 1948 as Belgian Congo against Northern Rhodesia, now Zambia. The team recorded a 3-2 victory at home. DR Congo has been FIFA affiliated since 1962 and has been a member of CAF since 1963. The team's first official match was on of April 1963, against Mauritania in the Lamidia tournament played in Dakar, Senegal. DR Congo won the match 6-0. The national team appeared in the Africa Cup of Nations for the first time in 1965. Glory period The Democratic Republic of the Congo had its first international success at the 1968 African Cup of Nations held in Ethiopia, beating Ghana 1–0 in the final. The team's biggest ever win came on of November 1969 when they recorded a 10–1 home victory against Zambia. Although a handful of Congolese players were playing in Europe particularly Belgium during these years, foreign-based players were seldom recalled for international duty. A rare exception was Julian Kialunda who represented Zaire as the country was by then known at the 1972 African Cup of Nations while playing for Anderlecht. The second continental title came at the 1974 African Cup of Nations in Egypt. The Leopards recorded a 2–1 victory against Guinea, another 2–1 victory against rivals Congo and a 4–1 victory against Mauritius. These results carried Zaire through to the semi-finals where they beat hosts Egypt 3–2. In the final, Zaire drew with Zambia 2–2. Therefore, the match was replayed two days later, where Zaire won the game 2–0. Zaire player Nde Malamba was top scorer with nine goals, which remains a record for the tournament. After this, the team returned to Zaire on the presidential plane, lent to them by Mobutu Sesi Siko. Zaire were the first sub-Saharan African team to participate in a World Cup, qualifying for the 1974 tournament in place of the 1970 participant Morocco, whom they defeated in the decisive qualifier 3-0 in Kinshasa. Such was the desire to foster an identity of Zaire as a global player that Mobutu paid for advertising hoardings at the World Cup to display messages such as Zaire Peace and Go to Zaire. At the tournament itself, Zaire did not manage to score any goals and lost all of its games, but gave credible performances against Scotland and Brazil. However, their 9-0 loss against Yugoslavia remains one of the worst World Cup defeats. A bizarre moment came in the match versus Brazil, facing a free kick 25 yards out, defender Mwepu Ilunga, upon hearing the referee blow his whistle, ran out of the Zaire wall and kicked the ball upfield, for which he received a yellow card. This was voted the 17th greatest World Cup moment in a Channel 4 poll. Ilunga has stated that he was quite aware of the rules and was hoping to convince the referee to send him off. The intended red card would have been a protest against his country's authorities, who were alleged to be depriving the players of their earnings. Many contemporary commentators instead held it to be an example of African football's naivety and indiscipline. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Crisis period. After winning the 1974 African Cup of Nations and participating in the 1974 World Cup, the team was eliminated in the first round of the 1976 African Cup of Nations after recording a draw and two losses in the group stage. Morocco went on to win the tournament. From 1978 to 1986, the country did not qualify for the African Cup of Nations, while not participating in qualification for the 1978 World Cup and 1986 World Cup. 
In the 1988 African Cup of Nations, Zaire finished last in their group despite having two draws. Return to success From 1992 to 1996, Zaire, reached three consecutive African Cup of Nations quarterfinals. In 1992 and 1994, they were beaten by Nigeria, and in 1996 they were beaten by Ghana. In 1997, the country's name changed to Dr. Congo and the national team was rebranded as the Simbas, a nickname that stuck for the next nine years. DR Congo played their first game on 8 June 1997 in Point Noré which ended in a 1–0 loss to the Republic of the Congo. At the 1998 African Cup of Nations, DR Congo, led by Louis Watunda, surprisingly took third place, beating Cameroon in the quarter-finals and hosts Burkina Faso 4–1 on penalties in their last match after scoring three late goals to tie the encounter 4–4. At the 2000 African Cup of Nations, the team finished third in their group, and in 2002 were eliminated in the quarter-finals by Senegal. Then, in 2004, DR Congo were eliminated after three straight defeats in the group stages. In 2006, led by Claude Leroy, having finished second in the group behind Cameroon, the Congolese were eliminated in the quarter-finals by Egypt 4–1. Struggles DR Congo were drawn in Group 10 for qualifications for the 2008 African Cup of Nations, along with Libya, Namibia and Ethiopia. Before the last match day, the Congolese led the group, but they drew 1–1 with Libya in their final match while Namibia beat Ethiopia 3–2. This sent Namibia through to the finals, while the Leopards were eliminated. DR Congo also failed to qualify for the 2010 World Cup. In 2009, DR Congo won the 2009 African Championship of Nations, a competition reserved to players in domestic leagues, a tournament they would again win in 2016. DR Congo reached the 2013 Africa Cup of Nations finals in South Africa but were knocked out in the group stages after drawing all three matches. The Ibenge era In the 2015 Africa Cup of Nations, DR Congo again drew all three group matches but this time finished second in the group behind Tunisia, and therefore advanced to the quarter-finals to play their rivals Republic of Congo, a match in which the Leopards came from two goals down to win 4–2. However, they were knocked out by the Ivory Coast 3–1 in the semi-finals. They ended up finishing third, beating Equatorial Guinea on penalties, after the third-place match finished 0–0 in regulation time. Topic Players Topic Current Squad The following players have been selected for the final squad for the double AFCON qualifying match against Congo the 18th of November 2018 caps and goals as of the 18th of November 2018 after the second match against Congo Topic. Recent call-ups The following players have been called up for Dr. Congo in the last 12 months. Topic. Records Topic. Most capped players As of November 22, 2018, players in bold are still active, at least at club level. Topic: <laughs> Top goalscorers. As of November 22, 2018, players in bold are still active, at least at club level. Topic. Results and fixtures Win Draw Loss Topic twenty seventeen
2018 Topic 2019 Date equals the 26th of March 2019 Time equals Team 1 equals Japan Score equals Report equals Team 2 equals DR Congo Goals 1 equals Goals 2 equals Stadium equals Noever Stadium Kobe Location equals Kobe, Japan Attendance equals Referee equals Result equals equals Topic Competitive record equals 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 Topic FIFA World Cup equals 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 topic african nations cup equals 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 topic african games equals equals Football at the African Games has been an under-23 tournament since 1991. <laughs> List of coaches <laughs>